This is Brother Ron, and welcome to We All Be News Radio and TV, the news free Dixie for the 21st century. And I want to ask you this as well. I know what happened uh, the other day on Sunday with Robert Smith, the uh, multi-billionaire. He promised to pay off the uh, forty million dollars student loan debt of the graduating class of Morehouse College. Uh, what are your thoughts about that? How discomforted are you by buying yourself a can of beer? <laughs> are you? Oh, uh, say that again, Judge. About the beer. Uh, how much did you set back your financial situation by buying yourself a can, a 16-ounce can of Bud Light? Yeah, and that's the drink. <laughs> no, not that much. That's it. You got a billion dollars <laughs> at your disposal. Mm-hmm. Paying off one small class worth of students' their loans is nothing. And I always said it's nice, but, you know, if you can afford it and it doesn't hurt you doing it, you haven't done all that much. You haven't really done anything until you do something that hurts, that's painful. Mm. I was I wasn't a billionaire. I might have been if it weren't for the last wife I had who was a fool, but uh when it came to money stuff, but essentially there's a point where you can make enough money, you don't have to ask how much something costs. You say, I like that. Wrap that up. All right. Uh, you got real money then. That's real wealth. <laughs> yeah, I was at that position. Uh, mm-hmm. CBS claimed the only person in syndicated television who was making more money than me was Judge Judy. Mm. I was beating Oprah every week in the ratings, Phil every week in the ratings, and stepping on Judy's heels, but... Every time I caught up with and passed her, CBS would exercise a different option for her rating so she'd stay ahead. They didn't want the straight black man being number one. They'd rather a nice little Jewish woman who was a man hater uh, hmm. be number one. And they were going to make sure that happens. Anytime they get a straight black guy, they try to see if he'll get the indication he might swing a little bit. Then they'll back off, but. If not, they'll make what money they can. And even if they're still making money off of you, when you start getting to that threshold where you're really starting to be big and nobody will ever forget you, then they'll cut your throat and get rid of you, not for business purposes, not because you fell in the ratings, or let's put it this way, not because your relative ratings were worse than they were when everybody's ratings are falling because of the new media methodology they have. Mm-hmm. Then they'll cut you. Is that what happened to Steve Harvey when he lost all three of his shows? I started getting political and making a social commentary that had effect. Mm. He worked hard at making sure he kept the job. I would never have done a lot of things he did, but he did them, but that wasn't enough. But, you know, he it kind of exposed himself in that Monique, Monique interview he did about, he didn't, I mean, he basically said he didn't care about his integrity, he just wanted the money, he was chasing the bag. Well, but. yeah, I know, but he said more than that. He said black people need to get over some of the things they say and start dealing with the fact that nowhere in the world, you know, do people disregard money talks, bullshit walks. In the essence, he didn't use those words. Mm-hmm. What do you think about what he said about, you know, rich people don't sleep, you know, like poor they people? Don't. They don't. I'm a success. I slept three hours, four and a half hours a night. All these people that got to get eight hours of sleep, they don't make it big. You can't make it big sleeping a lot, getting all your rest. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you, you can say what's on your mind. You ain't worried about it. I heard that. So No, I got in my eight hours sleep. Yeah, that's why your ass so damn broke. So you like you think the what do you think about people that 
they kind of laugh at people when they're on their way down. Like when people are down and out, people like it's like a lot of oh, folks take not, pleasure. Look, let me say this: He's not down and out. Mm-hmm. If he ever worked a day in his life again, he still would have an income much greater than the average person. I'm retired, and all for what I put away, hell, uh, if I don't do anything, no residual anything, I got a half million coming in anyway. Mm. And then I got residuals and other stuff from every time they do a rerun, commercials I do and stuff like that. So, you know, I ain't suffering. Got a house, you know, not bad. Mm-hmm. Had it before I got married. I got rid of three properties that, you know, I had about fifteen million dollars worth of houses.